Today we're going to do a fun craft project with IOD picture frame molds. Let's get started. I'm going to be using the Iron Orchid Designs air dry clay to make these molds today. And um, it's very lightweight, so it's really going to be good for the purposes of this particular project that we're working on today. I'm pointing out to you the molds that we're going to be using, or the frames, I should say, that we're going to be using. And I'm going to make two of those larger ones. So let's go ahead and get started with this project. I like to start by brushing some cornstarch into the molds. That helps the uh, clay come out a lot easier. Normally I use the gram marks on the side of the molds and I um, measure out my clay. I didn't do that this time, I just freehanded it. Um, it was okay, I, I still feel like I had to tear away a lot more of the clay than I would have if I had measured it out. So um, they are turning out really nice though. Don't they look beautiful? I just love these little picture frame molds. There's so many cute things that you can do with them. And then here I'm just showing you, you wanna seal your uh, clay up into um, a sealed bag. I went to an Etsy shop and I'm gonna link it for you below and they had a really, really good deal on a bundle of these uh, paintings. And uh, it'll probably not be the same deal when this video comes out, but I'll link it anyway. Maybe there'll be a different deal. And it took me a little while to figure out what sizing I needed for each of my frames. I did measure, but even though I measured, I still had to print them a few times, which I don't like to do because it wastes color. 
but um, anyways, I finally got the sizes right here. And this is just printed on regular paper, copy paper. And on the other hand, these I printed on cardstock. Uh, these are my children. These are a couple pictures of them from their high school graduation that I really love. I just went into Canva and I gave these a filter that I felt would kind of match similar to this. And this was the closest. I wanted to find an app that made them into a painting and I couldn't really find any that, that didn't cost money. I was really looking to just do this as inexpensively as possible. So we're gonna try it like this and then we're gonna use these frames for these pictures. I took the two large frames and I painted them a base of burnt umber. I'm also using my fusion mineral paint sample that I purchased a long time ago. And I'm, this is called Chessler and it's, I'm just loving this color blue and I really wanted to use this also. using today is this folk art metallic gold. This is what I'm using on all of the frames today. I'm trying to make sure I get the edges there. Using the Waverly chalk paint in the color elephant on this one. I actually forgot to mention that I painted all of these frames with the Waverly plaster chalk paint before I started painting the other colors on it. I just wanted to give it a good base and I felt like the chalk paint would do that. trying to do is give all of these frames a similar look but with some variations and that's why I'm using the different colors underneath. This one I'm also going to do gold just like I did the uh, rectangle one above it but I'm going to leave a little bit more of the white exposed here.
I'm just using a simple glue stick to glue these on because I printed them on copy paper and I want to be careful that I don't actually smear the ink. So what I'm doing here is I'm taking my tight bond and then I'm, I printed those on cardstock. I probably already said that. And I'm going to use the tight bond to adhere the picture back, the pictures, you know, from the back onto these frames. And so we're just going to put some tight bond on all around. We're going to kind of pressing my fingers down to make sure that it stays in place. And after I do that, you're going to see I bought a, um, a ream of magnetic piece, like magnetic strips. You can get these at a cr local craft store, too. I got mine off of Amazon. I can link it for you if you're interested. And um, they have a sticky back. And I'm just going to cut these um, to size. And we're going to put it on the back of the picture frames and you're going to see real quickly what I'm going to do with them and I put them on the back of each of these two. I did not paint the backs. I felt that these would stick better if I didn't. They are painted with chalk paint that was plaster and then um, you're going to see what I'm going to do with them. So you see I've created a little mini art gallery on my refrigerator here. The original idea had uh, used actual picture frames, and I'm going to insert a picture of it here to show you, but I wanted to uh, try my hand using the little picture frame molds. So what do you think of what I've done here? Let me know in the comments or give me a like. If you've enjoyed this video, consider sharing it with somebody else. Thank you so much for watching.